I'd just taken a tea up this morning when she said, Graham, I think the world of you. I said, I think the world of you too. And she said, well, that's all right then. I said, what's brought this on? She said, nothing. This tea looks strong. Pull the curtains. Of course, I knew what had brought it on. She said, I wouldn't like you to think you're not number one. I said, well, you're number one with me too. Give me your teeth, I'll swill them. What it was, we'd had a spot of excitement yesterday. I ran into a bit of mother's past. I said to her, I didn't know you had a past. I thought I was your past. She said, you? I said, well, we, we do go back a long way. How does he fit in vis-a-vis -vis dad? She laughed. Oh, he was pre-dad. I said, pre-dad, I'm surprised you can remember him. You don't remember to switch your blanket off. She said, that's different. His name's Turnbull. I said, I know. He said. I parked her by the war memorial on her usual seat while I went to get some reading matter. Then I waited while she went and spent a penny in the disabled toilets. Now, she's not actually disabled and memory's bad, but she says she prefers their toilets because she get more elbow room. She always takes forever diddling her hands and whatnot, and when she eventually comes back, it turns out she's been chatting to the attendant. I said, what about? She said, hanging. She was in favour of stiffer penalties for minor offences, and I thought, well, we know better, our Graham and me. I wish you'd been there, love. You could have given her the statistics. Where are we going for our tea?'